yesterday, and I know that he's sort of put as being one of the bad boys, but in my opinion, he's someone that can help uh, with the situation, and I believe we should be dealing with him. We dealt with the Duvaliers for 20-plus years. We can certainly deal with Geek DeVip. He's charismatic, he's bright, he's articulate, and he has many, many people that are following him, and I think he can be part of the solution. I think that even Barbecue, Jimmy C, can be part of the solution. That's a really important point is this this uh, new seven-person council, transition council, I don't know transition to what, because we're in a total failed state in Haiti. But in any case, if one of the people that are appointed on that seven-person council are the elite, the names that we have heard, the political elite, the private sector elite, even one, the people that have mansions in in the hills of Port-au-Prince, Petronville and above, uh, the people who have mansions in Florida and send their kids to um, Ivy League schools, those people, if there's even one, it's going to fail. So that's former U.S. Ambassador to Haiti, Pamela White, from 2012 to 2015. Mom, everyone, if you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew widow. The Hebrew Rose of Jericho coming at you with some judgment news. To all of my sis stars and my bro stars, allies and friends of the Star Seed United, I send you infinite love and light. And I receive yours, Abracadabra. Yes, we got a lot going on with Haiti that we're going to discuss today. We need to put some more work in today for Haiti, for those who have traveled 700 miles by sea and are on the coastline of Florida that they want to house in Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, that's where they want to hold them. And we got Ron DeSantis popping up in Judgment News again. We need to go against him today. Um. But first, I want to talk about something that's very, very significant because, see, it's a new status quo coming in. The old status quo time is out. Tick tock, tick tock. So what came to mind with what's going on in Haiti was uh, one of our forefathers, Malcolm X, one of our ancestors now. And this was a holy man. He was a righteous man. And his philosophy was if these serpent seed on this earth, these enemies that work for Hashitan, if they don't want to give us equal human rights, then we will fight the same way that they come against us. That, that was his philosophy. He was a, in a fight for equal human rights. And then we had Martin Luther King. At the same time, he was in a fight for civil rights. And boy, do white people love to quote Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King's philosophy was if we play nice nice with them, then they'll be nice to us. Did that work? Hell to the gnaw. And he was fighting for civil rights. You see how they named it civil? Civil has everything to do with word magic on paper backed by governments. It has everything to do with the synagogue of Satan. They go to Yale University, mainly, that write laws. And, and Martin Luther King had us fighting for civil rights. Oh, they made Martin Luther King our hero. When all the time he was being tricked, he must have been a low viber on some levels for them to trick him the way that they did. Or he might have just been very, very sleep. I don't know. I don't know the character of the man, you know. But what I do know is that he told us to play nice, nice with these people. Peaceful protests. Play nice, nice. Don't fight back. Even when they sick dogs on you and you're outnumbering them 300 to 1. Just take it. It'll be all right. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. 
we shall overcome someday. That song was a trick. We shall overcome someday. Someday. We shall overcome one of these days, y'all. One of these days. Within my heart, I do believe. I don't know, but I believe we shall overcome someday. If we play nice, nice with the colonizers and we remain under their laws, we want the same rights under their laws. We were so bamboozled until we were fighting to actually be under their laws. Wow. When in their laws, many of the rights are very wrong. But we wanted that. We fought for it. Man, we were so tricked. But uh, but, uh, Malcolm X wasn't. He went over there to the Holy Land. He went and experienced others. (laughs) He learned others' ways of thinking. He worshipped with his brother's. He became a spiritual light over there in the motherland and came back fire. Honey, there was this old song we used to sing. I got the fire shut up in my bones. I got the fire, fire, fire shut up in my bones. Honey, he came back with fire shut up in his bones. And people listened. Now, we know what happened to our brother, Malcolm X. But his words and his wisdom are still alive now. And that's how the status quo, the new status quo coming in are going to be Malcolm X's. Just like that junta over there. Yeah, that did all those coup d'etats. Taking people off their thrones and taking the thrones in righteousness. Those are like Malcolm X's, you know. That's like barbecue over there. I don't know anything about the other guy. I just know they said they got him on. They said he was some kind of drug dealer, but they never got him on drug deals. They got him on some kind of money laundering or something. But the people want him. They want him. Why? Because probably when he was making that money, he was helping out his people. They want him. And and barbecue to help help with the solution. Their own people. That's the new status quo. The new status quo said, we are going to fight the colonizers. We're going to get them the hell off of our land. All praises to the Most High and they will be successful. They will be successful. They will not be ruled by those people living in the mansions in Port-au-Prince any longer. They will not be dealing with the French. France always shows up, do the same damn thing. That's why the Junta took all of the land back over there in the motherland. In Niger, 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 Mali, and Burkina Faso. That's the new status quo. And that's who barbecue is. And I don't know the other guy, but possibly him too. And when they take their thrones, colonizers, y'all just going to have to run for the hills, honey, on the other side of the ocean. (laughs) Because they are going to fight back. And and now they're trying to get brother to fight brother. So they want to send Nigerian soldiers over there to put everything in order to kill up some people and put the fear in them. But they're going to come against a force over there in Haiti. If they do that, and if they go brother against brother, I rebuke that. How's your time been using that forever? Send your white boys over there. Send them over there to be killed and to fight. 
that brother against brother, they did that in the in the in the coup d'etats over there in the motherland. Ikawas. They were trying to send the Ikawas uh soldiers over there to fight the junta and put that puppet back in his seat. And they wanted brother to fight brother. We went to the courts of the most high. And we rebuked it then, and I rebuke it now. It will not be brother fighting against brother. Abracadabra. We went after the White House French connection. And it was a failed attempt. The Most High stopped it on our word, Star Siege United. We asked him, please, Father, don't allow them to make brother fight brother. And it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Even with their connection, they have lost their power. They go to do something. If we two or three steps ahead of them on what they're doing and we go to the courts of the Most High, they fail. And this has happened over and over and over again. Just like what's happening with the colonizers right now is going to fail. Their systems are failing. The matrix is crumbling. The Most High is turning this world upside down. He's taking out the old status quo and he's bringing in a new status quo. And you might as well get used to it. And it's going to happen very rapidly. This is the brave valiant that was willing to lay down his life. In a bloody revolution, if necessary, fighting for the freedom of our lands over there in the motherland. His name is Ibrahim Triori. His philosophy is the same as Malcolm X, the slave that cannot carry out his own revolt, doesn't deserve to be pitied. And they revolted and they successfully removed the colonizer puppets out of their power seats. They were doing the same thing that they were doing in Haiti. They sent the two thirds in, giving them guns, the violent ones, to attack the people to keep them in fear. Just like in Haiti, they kept the people in poverty. Just like in Haiti, they robbed the resources. Just like in Haiti, the same tricks. And that's what we're addressing in the courts of the Most High. The tricks of Hashitan. Now what happened in Africa or Akibulan with these coup d'etats. The Most High had the, the, the main focus on Niger. Now they had already successfully did several coup d'etats before Niger. But the father wanted to bring attention to Niger. Because there are great signs and wonders where the Most High marked this earth for judgment. Nothing is coincidental. The Most High had, just like he had all of those cities lined up for these solar eclipses, he marked this whole earth for judgment. And the beginning of our rulership started in Niger. And the Most High had it to happen there for a very, very magical reason. Let's go over to Google Earth because there's some magic I need to show you. Okay, so this is the Archangel Uriel. His cape sweeps all the way back into Asia. He's been hiding in plain sight. This is the angel, the Archangel that I work with. You see his beautiful black face? Yes, we have a dark kingdom. He's very black, just like our Messiah. That's why I don't mind when they call us black. Because our kingdom is very black. I believe he has this tear of compassion in his eyes because he has empathy for us. Yeah, he's very active in these judgments. He manifested his power over these lands. The Middle East is his left wing. There's his cape sweeping back into Asia and he's manifested all the way down to his feet and everything is symmetrical no geologists no scientists 
no one can explain how this archangel's image is manifested over this geographical area. He has his fiery sword in front of him. Now look at his face. Straight across from his face is Niger. That's the mighty fist of Uriel, the archangel. And you see all that power? That's why I said this is going to be a pebble in the pond. That was only the beginning. This is going to spread throughout all the earth. There is going to be a change in the status quo and no one can stop it. You're coming against the kingdom of love and light. And we have archangels that are our allies that have been activated. All praises to the Most High. This is the most magnificent end time sign. That cannot be explained. He's very magical, very powerful. And he's not stuck in his manifestation. He's not stuck. He's very, very active. All praises to the Most High. And that's why the Junta is successful. Because it was an appointed time where the fist of the, arc, of the Archangel Uriel would be activated. In a place that's filled with uranium. All of these signs and wonders, all of these signs and wonders are happening. Okay, so now we're at the, at, the, at the time of the Great Reset. And I told y'all what happened over there in the motherland. That is going to spread like a pebble in the pond. All colonizers are going to be removed from their seats of power. All of them. And they're going to be cast down. They're going to be cast actually out of the pyramid. They're going to be cast out of the pyramid. They're no longer going to exist in our dimension. You see, the Most High in Genesis, the third chapter, when he was cursing the serpent, he did a magical spell over them and he did a magical spell over us. He says, I am going to put enmity between your seed and the woman's seed. We are the woman's seed. They are serpent seed. And the same damn ones keep on showing up in judgment news. Now we're going to go back to Haiti. I know that was a long um, uh, introduction to what's going on in Haiti. But that was the download that I had. We, it's a new status quo coming in. We're going to take back our thrones. We're going to take this dimension. Because we have received our dominion even in this dimension as the starseed children of the most high God of Israel and nothing can stop it no one in this 3D <laughs> Hashitan's magic has been destroyed by starseed united we went after his words we went after the, the energy that he was using all that energy all of that energy, we took it back. We took dominion over the energy. We took dominion over words. We took dominion over his illusions and exposed them. And we have been heard by the Most High God of Israel. Now, now let's go back to Haiti, okay? This serpent seed right here popped up again in Judgment News because uh, we have some migrants. Some of the Levitical priesthood. Yeah, they've been caught up in the crossfire. They don't know what's what. It's a ball of confusion. They're living in poverty. They're trying to escape that mess that the colonizers created over there in Haiti. And so they travel 700 miles over the waters to hit the shores of Florida. So well, let's listen to what this serpent seed has to say. Just recently, within the last couple of weeks, and this will be uh, made public later today, uh, our Florida Fish and Wildlife officers interdicted a vessel that had 25 illegal immigrants, potential illegal immigrants from Haiti, 
uh, in their boat, in their vessel. They had firearms, they had drugs, they had night vision gear, uh, and were, were uh, boating very recklessly, which would, would potentially endanger other folks. So that uh, vessel was, was interdicted uh, near the Sebastian Inlet. Uh, and those illegal aliens uh, were turned over to the Coast Guard for, for deportation. Ron DeSantis, other known as Ron the Satan. He is one of the main pieces on Hashitan's side on this great chessboard. Mother identified him early on. We'll get into that in a minute. But what he's doing right now is he's sending out dog whistles. He claimed that those 25 migrants that tra traveled 700 miles from Haiti came over here with some drugs, guns, and night vision. Those were dog whistles. Now, I'm going to tell you racist right now. I'm going to give you a warning. First, I'm going to tell you who you're coming up against. You're coming up the Lev up against the Levitical priesthood. Do you hear me? So if you have one of your little children, or if you are in Ron DeSantis' little army called the Florida National Guards, you are going to be killed if you go against the Levitical priesthood right now in these days of judgment. That is what's going to happen to you. You will die. This is not the time. Your racist time is over. It is a new status quo. So he sent out those dog whistles and you guys take your guns and your night vision to try to hunt down some of the immigrants. You will die. Not one hair on their head shall be harmed. Abracadabra. You coming against a mighty force and they're not alone. They're not alone. And you guys are going to start seeing, you already start seeing some stuff in Florida. Y'all saw that alien in the mall, all kind of UFOs. That is the most high's host. And they are going to go into battle with you. If you touch their heads, you hear me? If you touch a hair on their heads, you will be doomed. And you should be in great fear. Abracadabra. Now let's go to Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis is another Yale graduate. One that loves to write laws that those civil laws. He loves to write civil laws. It's probably boxes and boxes of initiatives and laws that Ron DeSantis wrote. He started in Guantanamo Bay. Making rules to torture people. Making it okay. He is a servant of Hashitan. He's a major puppet. And he is a magician. He is a word magician. Mother identified him a year and a half ago to me. And when she told me. You are going to have to fight. We are in a great war. And you're going to have to fight. And it's magic against magic Ron DeSantis declared war on us with his stop woke act that's when mother identified him as an enemy the woke agenda has caused millions of Americans to leave these jurisdictions for greener pastures now this great exodus of Americans Great exodus. For those folks, Florida, for so many of them, has served as the promised land. He claimed Florida to be their promised land. That is where reptilians thrive. You got the alligators, the snakes, the iguanas. You got all of that going on over there in Florida. That's why it is a high population of reptilians over there. That is so fucking racist and hateful. And all reptilians are going to die. All serpent seed are going to die. And I can't wait till it happens. 
Florida is going to catch it so bad in these next judgments. You think last summer was something. Just wait until what comes to Florida in the near future. We, we have embraced freedom. Freedom, free Edom. We have maintained law and order. We have protected the rights of parents. We have respected our taxpayers and we reject woke ideology. He was talking about us. We fight the woke in the legislature. We fight the woke in the schools. We fight the woke in the corporations. We will never ever surrender to the woke mob. Florida is where woke goes to die. And this is when Hashatan declared war on the Hebrew Israelites, the children of the Most High God of Israel. And I'm going to show you I have receipts. All of that cheering crowd that you heard in the background and all of those we this and we that. All of them are doomed, okay? Because they joined their energy with Ron DeSantis's energy when he actually was declaring war on us. That's what Mother told me. He was declaring war on the woke, which is us. The 12 tribes of Israel. So anyway... Ron DeSantis said, we'll, we will fight in the legislature. He comes from Yale University. And like I said, there's probably a room with boxes of legislature and initiatives somewhere around there in Florida that Ron DeSantis created to keep us in captivity with his Stop Woke Act. So Mother clearly identified him as being one of the very top pieces on Hashitan's side of the chessboard. Okay, now we have the migrants going over there. He already started blowing his dog whistles at his fellow white people. Yeah, those that believe in the rhetoric of Prager University, like Ron DeSantis said, slavery was good for us. Yep. And they, they, he's, he's, he's putting, he put all of that out there for them to prepare them for today, but it's nothing that can, that can prepare them for what's about to happen. Okay, so we have the migrants that have been going over there. But one thing about the Haitian migrants, they, they send them on back. But the other ones, they drop them off in different places. Yeah. Now, what I heard is that they wanted to put the migrants in Guantanamo Bay. Ron D. Satan's old stomping ground where he tortured people. Yeah, that's where they want to send the migrants. Ain't going to happen. The prison that you plan for the Levitical priesthood, you will go into Abracadabra, if you with me, Star Seed United, seriously, put your abracadabras and your sevens in the comment section. Now, what I'm about to show you happened in 2021. They think everybody forgot about it, but we haven't. We haven't forgotten. Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas said horse border patrols were suspended. The investigation into what occurred has not yet concluded. We know that those images painfully conjured up the worst elements of our nation's ongoing battle against systemic racism. That was Mayorkas in 2021. During a news conference last year, journalist April Ryan questioned Mayorkas about the attack by Border Patrol agents that sparked national outcry. The southern border is not just Mexicans, it is Haitians, it's Africans, as, we, as we've seen, particularly with that issue with the Haitians um, being whipped with the reins or the horses. But what is there? Well, let me just uh, correct you right there, because uh, act actually the investigation concluded that the whipping did not occur. I'm that the whipping did not occur. I'm that the whipping did not occur. I'm he stood in front of the world, in front of cameras, after the world, seen 
the horseback serpent seed whipping them with the horse reins cussing at them disrespecting them and abusing them and yet he said the whippings the whippings never occurred they will stand in front of your face and lie like a damn dog or like the devil because they're serpent seed they're liars and so that happened in 2021 y'all the u.s government did nothing about it actually, actually the investigation concluded that the whipping did not occur i'm sorry okay let's look at this dude with his little howdy doody weasel looking ass that probably never had a fight in his life he has his fucking nerve because his flat family fled cuba but because he is white, he was welcomed uh, on the shores of Florida. He was welcomed in there. And look at him now. Look at him now. He witnessed the beatings just like we did. And he know the world witnessed the beatings. Yet he said it never happened. That's why there will be a new status quo. Because their time is up for all of their shenanigans. They're a bunch of creeps. They're a bunch of lion reptilians. Actually, actually, the investigation concluded that the whipping did not occur. I'm sorry. I, I saw it differently. They were whipped with something from the horse. One of the plaintiffs in the lawsuit is Mira Joseph, who was photographed as a Border Patrol agent on horseback, lashed him with split reins, grabbed his neck and gripped Joseph by the shirt collar. After the assault, Joseph and his family were detained, then deported to Haiti. From they have played this game with the world over and over again. Press Secretary Jen Psaki said she had seen some of the footage, calling it unacceptable. She witnessed this wicked atrocity and admitted to it, but, but wait for it, wait for it. Just saw this footage. Um, it's horrible to watch. Um, I, I just have to get more information on it. Code for we will investigate it ourselves and tell you what happened, no matter what you see. On it. I can't imagine what the scenario is where that would be appropriate. I'm certainly not suggesting that, but we've just seen the footage short earlier this morning. And that was code for, well, we really don't know what happened before then. You know, they probably did something to deserve it. I'm sure that the Border Patrol on those horses had a reason to whip them, but I'm not really saying that, though. I'm not suggesting that when that is exactly what she was doing. And she will burn too in these judgments. Every liar and every participant, every serpent seed, every low vibe and racist will no longer exist in this dimension. Hallelujah. Texas President Biden condemned the, quote, horrible treatment of the Haitian migrants and promised a swift investigation. It's outrageous. I promise you those people will pay. They will be an investigation underway now and there will be consequences. You see how all of them play the same game? Isn't this the game that Nate and Yahoo plays? They do something diabolical with damning evidence and then they investigate themselves and then they tell you a blatant lie and tell you to believe them over the images that were right before your very eyes. And then they tell you they're going to do something to make you feel better. And then they let three years pass by when they think everybody fucking forgot. And then this happens. And other black immigrants from the Caribbean and Africa. Gerlina, welcome back to Democracy Now! Explain why you're in Washington, D.C., what happened to Mir Mirar Joseph um, and his family members. Thank you and good morning, uh, Amy. We are currently in D.C. 
because yesterday we were in court uh, to be able to highlight the realities of what we just saw on the screen that did happen. It happened and we had we have the proof. Everybody saw it. So yesterday we came to court to be able to address those issues because the U.S. government uh, reached out asking for dismissal of our case. So the U.S. government uh, reached out asking for dismissal of our case. So a dismissal of our case. So this is why the new status quo is coming in. Hashitan has played the same damn games over and over and over again. They had to address the, the issue because the world was enraged. They said that they would investigate. They investigated themselves. Three years later, they said it never even happened. Nothing ever happened. And had the nerve to go to those same Haitian people that they abused and expected them to say, okay, we'll drop the case, boss. And this is why the new status quo is going to come in in Haiti. They are going to be restored. Haiti is going to be a paradise by the end of all things when this earth is totally healed and all the colonizers are gone. Haiti is going to be a paradise. And all of the people there are going to be so very happy. Yeah, that, you know, um, going back to barbecue. I was pondering on barbecue last night. You know, it's a lot of people fleeing because they caught in the crossfire and all that confusion. They caught in the middle of a war. They caught in the middle of a civil war. And they were frightened and they were afraid. Yeah. And so I was pondering on all of this last night. And, and that's when I heard that the people want barbecue and the people want D. Philippe. The people want them to rule over them. Valiant men willing to give their lives, lay down their lives in a fight for their liberation from the colonizers. That's who the people want. The colonizers on the last video, we went over how they play the same old game, keeping the people in poverty, robbing the resources, putting their public puppets in place in the power seats. All of this is a pattern. And now that we recognize that pattern and, and we're 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 taking this like we recognize father we see what's going on now father put a stop to it father abracadabra that's all we have to do star seed united and it will happen because we were appointed to this task hallelujah and it is working over and over and over again you know, I'm going to stop this, this. I'm going to stop this part right here. We're going to go to the courts of the Most High regarding the immigrants. Uh, but the next video is very, very important because there is a timeline. I mentioned that Ron DeSantis, Ron D. Satan declared war on us with that Stop Woke Act. But it wasn't just him. He had his task to do. You know, what he's continuing to do right now with the Haitians, and that is to stir up the low-vibing races, to have them to attack the Haitian migrants. And he probably got the laws all in place to, you know, for them to get away with it or whatever. Or he'll just let them off and do just like the United States government do. You know, he think he's going to do that, but his job was to stir up that racist energy so we're going to take that to the courts of the Most High. Yeah. So when he declared war, he was doing the same damn thing with the Stop Woke Act. I hope you guys know by now, if you've been following my station, you know that the Most High activated our DNA on the last solar eclipse. And he's done a work in us. I am not the same person that I was before that solar eclipse. The Most High has done a work on me. Hasn't he done a work on you?
Are you the same? The Most High woke up our DNA. He's been working on us since that last solar eclipse. And now we have our power and our words matter to him. He's answering every call. You know, I was doing a video. I, I had so much to say. Because I was given a victory report on all of the enemies that we took down. And every task that they had set out against us in this great war failed. All because the Most High bowed the heavens and he heard us. That is what was so dangerous to Hashitan. First of all, the Most High magically woke up our DNA. And then we realized that we were the people of the book. We were the Hebrew Israelites. And then, magically, we went from religions to actual, actually being spiritually connected to the 5D. With our purified energy. That is what Hashatan was so afraid of. And that's why he declared war on us. In the next video, I'm going to spell it out for you. So be looking for that video. Let's go to the courts of the Most High. On behalf of the Levitical priesthood coming out of Haiti on the shores of Florida. Where the reptilians are. Father, once again, we thank you for accepting us. Thank you for accepting our words and bowing the heavens and hearing us on each occasion that we entered into your holy courts. For you marked this earth for judgment, true Zion. Father, we understand our mission now. I understand like never before that our mission was to find this holy place. I understand, Father, that we made promises to you. Your children, the star seed, in our group, Star Seed United, to come together with our energy and plead our cause. Father, throughout this video, you have witnessed serpent seed ruling over us in wickedness. They have been playing the same games over and over and over and have ruled over this earth throughout the centuries from the beginning. And we ask that you destroy their game, Father. Destroy their game. We ask that they lose every single attempt to come after us in any way, Father. Let them lose the game and give us victory. Give us victory, Father. Thank you, Father. We know that we were supposed to identify our enemies, identify their game, and come to you to the most holy courts under the direction and guidance of our holy mother, Marihala. And Marihala, we adore you above all, mother. You are the most beautiful one. And we thank you for all of this wisdom, teaching us how to fight, teaching us the strategies, identifying our enemies, exposing their games, exposing their illusions, and teaching us what magic was all about. We thank you, Mother. It has been magic against magic. In every direction that we have followed, that you have given us, we have gained great victory. And we understand, Father, we understand that we were supposed to know our mother. We were supposed to hear our mother. 
She would guide us through and she has. And we just thank and appreciate our mother wisdom for giving us victory after victory after victory when we come to your holy courts, Father. You have given the order to the universe to react to our words. Father, we're coming on behalf of the Levitical priesthood, your magical men that would go into battle with jars and shofars and defeat the enemy. Play the drums and defeat the enemy. Father, we ask for that same magic for the Levitical priesthood. You always sent them first out in battle. And we ask that your heavenly host be activated against anyone that would attempt to harm one hair on their head. We ask that you bless them wherever they go. Wherever they go. Bless them, Father. Bless them. And Father, we also see that our new rulership is forming. We see that it's happening, Father. That the old status quo has lost their power. And you have empowered valiant, righteous men, full of empathy, full of love, that are willing to lay down their lives to fight for their freedom from the colonizers. We ask that you bless all your kings and queens. Fill us all with empathy, Father. Fill us all with love and power and righteousness. Hallelujah. We will not rule like Hashitan. We will rule in righteousness and respect, Father. We promise. We will judge righteously. Always. Always, Father. Father, I feel a righteous indignation. I feel all enmity between me and the serpent seed between star seed and the serpent seed. I feel great enmity, Father, like I am supposed to. And I and my star seed, sisters and bro stars, allies and friends are coming to you, Father, with a collective Righteous indignation against all enemies of star seed, your children. And I ask you to let them all be conquered, any one of them, any one of them, any mercenary, any malicious, any National Guard, any military, any police, any two-third gangbangers that would fight against this cause, that would fight against our rulership from coming in. I ask that you destroy them, Father. Destroy them. Abracadabra. May the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart always be acceptable to you, Yahweh. You are our strength and our Redeemer. Abracadabra. Father, we thank you so much for an, another time to come into your holy courts. And we know that you have bowed the heavens for us. And you have heard us on many occasions and given us great victories. And we ask you for this victory once and for all. That stronghold where the Levitical priesthood has kept the enemy at bay from just taking the land totally away from them, Father. Where their ancestors wrote that constitution that we asked you to empower once again. 
we ask that the mighty host stand with the Levitical priesthood on the lands of Haiti. Father, we ask that you make it so. Make it so, Father. Let them be conquerors and conquerors, more than conquerors. Bless all the valiants out there that you have raised up the 144,000 that you have endued with power to conquer. Bless them all, Father, and bless your servants here at Star Siege United. We understand our assignment, Father. We presented our case to you, Father, and we ask that you bring justice to the matter, for you are the most just. Star Seed United, as we exit this holy place, give your Father praise and glory. Adore your mother and pledge your allegiance to our big brother, the Messiah, the King and God of this earth. We come and stand in his name, under his rulership, in his kingdom. Hallelujah. That is the download that I have for you all today. May the Most High bless us all. Hallelujah. We have better days ahead. We, we have overcome. We have overcome. Star Seed United. All praises to the Most High. If you are new to my station and you resonate with this message, feel free to subscribe and join in the fight. Star Seed United, I salute you all for joining your energy with mine one more time for this great victory. That's the download that I have for you guys today. May the most high just, oh, may the, I, I feel so empowered, you guys. Do you feel your power? Do you feel your elevation? All oh, praises to the most high. We've come a long way, Star Seed United. And we have been faithful to our task. All oh, praises to the most high. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. Doesn't it feel good to fight back? Star Seed United forever. Star Seed for life. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for your kind support of this station. Yes, all your gifts of love. May the Most High bless you 100-fold for whatever your heart's desire. Abracadabra. Okay, until the next judgment news, your big sister. The Hebrew Widow, the Hebrew Rose, Jericho out. Shalom. <laughs>